Hello everyone, this is Beastly Eel, and on today's episode, we're going to be talking about the latest in the Bad Batch. So we are on episode 15, um, the second to last episode before the finale. Apparently this is, spoiler alert, um, it's a two-part episode, um, two-part season finale. I've heard it's been officially announced that the Bad Batch will have a season two, um, which is definitely a good thing. Um, that being said, as always with these videos, I'm going to talk about the episode as a whole and then what I think is going to happen in the last episode. Um, spoiler alert, uh, not quite positive. I have a lot of guesses, but no concrete evidence uh, to back it up. So let's start with the episode. So <clears throat> the episode starts with Hunter and Crosshairs talking. And they're kind of doing a little bit of a back and forth and talking about um, just kind of, I don't want to say nonsense, but it was definitely a lot more of them talking about what um, lives were like beforehand. Basically, Hunter trying to convince Crosshairs that he... You know, he doesn't need to do it. The Empire isn't right. And Crosshairs is basically like, uh, I don't really care. We can do so much better with the Empire. So, <clears throat> um, he takes Hunter's communicator and turns it on. And Hunter goes, they're not going to, they're not going to know it's a trap. And Crosshairs goes, I'm aware, but they're still going to come for you. And so that, that ends. So we now go to the Bad Batch, who is in on Sid's planet. Um, they're doing much needed repairs on their ship. So it's all hands on deck because they're trying to get the ship ready as quickly as possible. Their ship was badly damaged. I didn't realize how much damage it was. Um, while they were getting their ship ready, um, Wrecker was talking to Sid and letting her know what's going on. Apparently, she wasn't happy with it. So the group gets their stuff together, um, and they make sure that the ship is ready to go. When the ship gets turned on, they see the beacon of Hunter, so they um, know exactly where he is. Um, it's on Camino. Camino is, again, for those of you who don't know, um, is the planet where the clones were originally created. So, they go to take off. As they're leaving, um, or I shouldn't say that, after they left, um, while they were en route, apparently um, Omega gave them specific coordinates to land. Um, Tech was very concerned on these particular coordinates because he's not quite sure why they're being sent there. And she said it's it's a secret place that nobody would know. He goes, well, the whole place is going to be swarming with with um, clone troopers. Or stormtroopers. Troopers. I think he just said troopers, because I don't think they were called stormtroopers yet. So anyway, she goes, not this place. Positive on. So they go to the location. And it's just water. And Tech's like, where did you send us? Like, this isn't going to work at all. Chief tells him to go lower, go lower, go lower. And he's like, if I go any lower, we're going to be in the water. He says, the only way it's going to activate is if you get lower. So he eventually gets lower. And then what happened was this landing pad lifted up out of the water. And they landed on it. So they all get out, and it is pouring rain. I think in Camino it only rains. I don't think it does anything else. Um, it seems like every time we're on Camino, it's raining. Um, so Tech goes, well, then how the heck are we going to get there? I mean, our, our um, we're so far away from the actual base. So um, Omega sets up the this device to transport um and they go in. It's kind of like a bubble, and they go underground and into it. 
Um, they ask where they're going. It's the lead scientist's um, laboratory, personal laboratory, which is very specific. Um, when they get inside, uh, Wrecker was kind of confused that, you know, it looked like every other lab that they've been in. She says, no, this is different. Omega's like, no, this is different. This is where we were all created. And they were all kind of confused. She goes, this is where I was created, but this is also where you were created. You guys were enhanced here for a short period of time and then was sent with the regulars, regular clothes. So they were kind of surprised by this. And then they go and find the little robot that we met in the first couple episodes. And he's going to help out as well. He explains that everyone was taken off of Camino. Um, those who weren't were killed. And they were wiping out all the files as well. So they start hunting for Hunter. A little fun thing for that. And they start looking for him. So while this is going on, Hunter and his group are... I'm not Hunter. Sorry, Crosshairs and his group um, have Hunter in their sights. And they go to the training facility. And they're waiting for the Bad Batch. Hunter is not thrilled with the situation, but he does what he has to. So the Bad Batch gets underneath the facility, specifically the training facility, and their big plan is to come up from above, from below through the lift, because they think that will be the deciding factor to shock cross here. So they tell Omega to stay below with the robot, and if things get bad there to go to the uh, the ship and get out of there and call Rex and let him know what happened. So inside, uh, they go up the lift, and it's a trap. Big surprise. All the trooper, all of Crosshair's troopers um, were aiming their their guns at the Bad Batch, except for Hunter. Hunter, who was next to Crosshairs. So he basically tells, so there's a little bit of back and forth. Um, Echo sends the message to Omega to let her know to go to the, to go to the ship. She does not shock her, and she starts setting up a trap to try to get um, the guys free. Crosshairs realizes that, you know, she's still in the building, and he sends one of his troopers to go up looking for her. So they're having this, now she, that, that trooper leaves, and they're now having this conversation. And <clears throat> they're having this conversation, and then what happened was they were talking, 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 and he tells Hunter he's going to give him a choice, unlike what he, you know, that Hunter didn't give him a choice. So, there was like these, there was something noticeable, and Tech noticed it first. Um, we see it for a little bit, but I didn't put two and two together until Crosshairs takes a, takes a shot and kills all of his troopers. They were like these mirrors that bounced off the lasers that took out all of the troopers. So then they're talking about how well, Crosshairs is talking about how they all should be, you know, working for the Empire. Well, he never specifically said working for the Empire, which I want to say is very specific to me, um, and states that he thinks they were much better off, much better um, suited to do other things than um, just posing around the galaxy being bounty hunters. So then that, that's where things get a bit weird. So down below, uh, Omega's setting up all the drone um, droids to get them sent upstairs. Um, the other trooper comes down looking for her, finds her. The robot opens up a panel, knocks her out, which I find funny. Um, it shouldn't make me laugh, but it does. And then he 
she sets it up and they all go up. So now all these droids are up there trying to kill the Bad Batch, all of them. So they start working together, um, which was very specific, very confusing. Um, so they all start working together. Omega and the robot come up and they start shooting droids down too. Um, um, the trooper that I believe was knocked out was back up, went back upstairs, um, realized that Crosshairs was lost the control of the situation. Um, and she told the Admiral, Denise, get out of there. Looks like all the clones are going to die together. And she goes on to the destroyer. And it turns out that the destroyer is being ordered to take out the entire uh, Camino, Camino base. So they take out all the droids, and Hunter and Crosshairs are gun to gun. And Crosshair said that he his inhibitor chip was removed a while ago. And Hunter asked specifically when, and Crosshairs never answered him. So um, Crosshairs goes to shoot him. He stuns Crosshairs before he has a chance to actually shoot him. Tech realizes that the cruisers, or the battle cruisers, or the battle destroyers, um, are closing in on Camino. Hunter takes all this, all of um, the equipment off of Crosshairs, and he orders Wrecker to carry Crosshairs with him. So they start running. Um, the cruisers start opening fire, and we see them noticing that the place is being blown up. They can't escape in the sense of their way out was destroyed, and Camino sinks. And that is how the episode ends. So, a few things. Um, Omega is older than the Bad Batch, which is not as weird as I thought it would be, but she is older than them. She watched them grow up and be created. Crosshairs is claiming that he doesn't have the inhibitor chip anymore. Which, I would imagine it was when his head got burned was when he, the chip was destroyed or damaged. My guess. That doesn't mean I'm right. It's just my guess. Um, he's apparently no longer a part of the Empire, even if he wants to be. Um, they want him dead. But they didn't care that he died. So that's a big thing right there. So it's definitely interesting to see that. And now all the scientists are in a different location. And we don't know where. So, yeah. A lot going to happen. I would imagine, I'm guessing, that the last episode shows how they escape. Which would be kind of an anticlimactic season finale. Um, but... I'm hoping they do more with it than just that. Um, we definitely need to know more about Crosshairs, and we also need to know more about why and how they were created, um, which I think would be interesting. Um, so I'm hoping that this is all answered in the season finale next week, but who knows? I mean, we're going to have to wait and see. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the episode. I overall thought it was a great episode. Um, definitely a great lead-up to who knows what the finale is going to be like. Um, and excited that they're going to have a season two. But, um, as always, if you like the content you see, please like and subscribe below. <clears throat> and other than that, this is Beastly Eel signing out. Have a good night.